I again want to state very clearly, there is the presidential escort commander who is an assistant inspector general. Those are the units, whether under the, uh, protecting the deputy president, the retired president, must be of, of, of lower rank for command and control purposes. So, so that is what we've done. It is true. The officer who was there, again, I wish to repeat, was an assistant inspector general. I'm recalled, I've recalled that officer to be now given responsibilities, command responsibilities, commensurate with his rank. So whatever has been done is in good faith. Um, and um, uh, 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 Inspector General is available if any of our leaders, any of our senior leaders has any issue. Um, as I've stated, our ask is to ensure we are fair to every senior citizen, our fellow citizens, whether law or I, letu ni utumishi kwa wote na utumishi kwa waminifu. What about the former first lady? What happened? As a lady, even uh, our late, uh, two late presidents, they have security. We secure their premise. Yes, we do that. We respect those offices. We provide security. That's, that's, that's the position. The position that uh, from the former CEO itself, Nigeria, and also is the very post that also the security has been done. That's the uh, maybe let's let's uh, uh, let's let's avoid mentioning names, eh? And uh, IG is not used to that, because remember, I'm a very dependent, very dependent player. Uh, mine is to provide security to every Kenyan, however low, however high. Uh, therefore, those leaders you're, you're mentioning, they may have retired, and don't misquote me. Because the other day, some of you said that the code and the code, I had called the poor busy bodies. I did not do that. I've never done that at any time. Don't misquote me. What I'm saying, other than because you raised issues regarding the retired president, even other government officials, you have retired. And even you have heard them say in the media, they are now retired. They have. They are joining their retirement, even the cabinet, former cabinet ministers. You have heard them in the media saying they are retired. Even at times they have said they enjoy even driving themselves. They don't need to wait until who is in the office, who must be in the office by 6 a.m., who must work this cabinet secretary or permanent secretary in active duty, who must be in the office by 5 that a.m by 6 a.m., who leave office at times 10 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, let, let, again, let me be sincere. Who, I think you think there is a logic. Is there a logic in what I'm saying? I'm retired as a cabinet secretary. I'm retired as an inspector general. Because you need to also to bring up the issue of the retired inspector generals. They are retired. Fine, they are enjoying their retirement. Do they continue enjoying the same security? I mean, uh, of equal, equal measure as somebody who is actively engaged in, in duty. As we are talking, my, um, as I'm talking here, my cabinet secretary is in Mandela. Yesterday he was in 